mostly docile and seemingly lazy lizard couldn't be too much of a threat, right? Or just maybe, it could. And here it is, the Gondor map. Would you look at that? So, like everybody else, I spawned in as a fresh juvenile on the beautiful island Gondor. Hey buddy, I'm not trying to hunt you, don't worry. Ready for a new adventure, but unfamiliar with the new map, I decided I would start off by doing a little bit of exploring. I like it, it gives semi-aquatics a ch chance. What was that? Was that me? Oh. Hello. Since I wasn't yet hungry or thirsty, food and water weren't yet a priority, so hunting the poor creatures of the island wasn't yet in the plans. But that time would come. What was that? Can we beat this thing? Okay, you wanna be aggressive? What I thought would be my first meal, well, Jesus turned God. out it wasn't. And Sarko had decided that this was his meal. And frankly, being a small <laughs> Megalania, what? there was not much I could do about that. Oh my god. Sorry, little dude. So, we wish the guy well and continue to head deeper into the island. You do you. Being too small to hunt larger prey, scavenging or digging up burrows in search for smaller creatures is your best chance at survival and a great source of nutrition. But sometimes that potent smell of hidden creatures can attract all sorts of other predators. I guess not. We just gonna do our own thing? Is that a peace offering? You gave me a penis? Well, thank you. <laughs> However, when food is plentiful, risking injury is not always necessary, and allowing someone else to eat is just the better option. Okay, I don't think he's gonna kill me. Oh, <laughs> it's another me. Could you go away, sir? You make me uncomfortable. With many predators in this area, I decided to leave and go do some quests. As on official that. servers, that is the only way to grow your creature. So, my next Where's destination the... would be the Burned Forest. No, I'm gonna do quests around here. We don't wanna be seen. Oh wait, that's a uh, herbivore. While resting to regain stamina, we spotted a distressed herbivore making its way through the remains of this forest. Although a lot bigger than us, I decided we would try to take it down regardless, as food around here was quite scarce. I think it's naturally bigger than me anyway. Ah, oh, I'm stuck. An unfortunate beginning. It had managed to trap me between itself and the large rock, where it was able to land a few blows on me. But no worries, the hunt must continue. Come on then. Now, I'm no pro, but one thing I do know is that the Megalania has a very good poison that drains the enemy of its stamina. So, our best bet is to pick up bites and wait for the animal to fatigue before going in for the kill. The poison was settling in and this poor creature was starting to get tired. Now that it could no longer run, its only choice was to fight back. But, it was all too late. This is some legacy combat right now. In its exhaustion, it had collapsed, allowing me to get some free bites in. However, its tough skin was hard to penetrate, and it would take a lot of bites before I could kill it. Unable to move, it had given up on the battle, allowing us to finish it off and claim our prize. Nice, we got it. <laughs> it just kind of gave up after a while. Damn, that stamina drain is kind of deadly, isn't it? So naturally, I filled up my stomach and got to questing so that I could finally grow. Grinding on officials is super grindy without passive growth. By the time we had completed the area, our stomach had really taken a hit. So in search of food, I decided to head just a little bit north of the forest into the hunter's thicket. While on my search, I found the AFK Juvenile. I was a little hesitant whether to kill it or not, but after glancing down at my it's hunger bar and not knowing when my next meal would be, I decided I would kill it anyway. So naturally, I filled up again and headed off once more. While exploring Hunter's Thicket, I found these awesome rock formations, who would actually come in handy if I ever needed to escape a predator. So I took a mental note of where they were and thank God I did. After a bunch of questing, my hunger bar was getting low again, so I decided to dig up a burrow in hopes for food. Luckily, someone was home this time too, so we quickly filled up on the corpse and carried on with our adventure. I just want to say a big thank you for your guys' support towards me. Every like and comment you guys leave really helps boost my videos on the algorithm, so I really do appreciate it. Well, here's something. After scavenging around, I heard the sound, so since I was hungry, I decided to go investigate. Oh. This blue creature had run straight into my bite, so with the first hit in and his stamina slowly draining, I decided to chase him down. Oh, there's another one. Another one had entered the battle. Being young Isn't myself, good. this would be a very difficult fight. 
Avoiding hits from both of them was not easy. Also, if I wanted to get a body, I would need to kill both of them, as on this server, there was no body down there. Things were not looking good. Oh. I'm gonna have to fight both of them. The one was really low, but so was I. Continuing with this fight would not be smart. Sometimes you just gotta know when to back Ooh. down. That hurt. Knowing that I was hurt, one of them decided to chase me down. But remembering those rock formations from earlier were nearby, I was confident I could shake it off. While escaping, I caught a glimpse of the injured friend, and I decided to pursue. Smart? I don't know. One mistake here could cost me my life, but I had the upper hand, so I decided I would try my luck. Unfortunately, being smaller, my bites were not as strong, so it would take a while before it would actually go down. The one mistake for me ended my hunt right oh. there. I really cut oh, it close it and got lucky with my escape. If there wasn't two, that would have been pretty good, but... However, happy I was still alive, I healed up my wounds, and not soon after, the server restarted, so I decided I would head off for the night. The next morning I headed further east to finish some quests, but while going towards a lake to gather some lakeweed, I bumped into a family of Sukos. Let's wait for them to leave. Eventually, after a bit of waiting, the family decided to move on. This was my chance to go finish my quests. However, this would not be the last we see of this family. You see, this family owned this whole territory and guarded it pretty heavily, so they did not take lightly to strangers, especially ones that decided to bite. Went up here. I had no plan to really Can attack them, here? as they were a lot stronger than me, and I wouldn't really right. stand a chance against them. But I was dying right. to get hungry, so I thought I'd go take a peep anyway. Oh, the Suku looked like it was alone, so I decided to follow its trail, which eventually led me to it. Arriving there, I saw it had given me its back, so I kind of went for it without thinking. With one bite in, the poison was starting to take effect. However, it would not be long until the rest of the family took a glimpse of this. This was probably a mistake. However, I persevered. Sticking to its tail, I was able to avoid most of its attacks and get a few bites in on him. Things so far were looking good. If I could keep this up, I would surely end up with a meal. The Suko smartly had developed a new strat. By crouching and biting, its mouth was close to the ground, and because of that, it was a lot easier for him to catch me with his attacks. This fight was getting pretty brutal. We had both landed some significant attacks on each other. This could be anyone's fight. But unfortunately for me, his teammate had arrived, which forced me to back off from the engagement. As a solo, life can be tough. If you're not able to take something down fast enough before its friend arrives, you're pretty much done. And in fact, just like that, our Megalania goes hungry again. I waited around Let's in the heal. shadows to see if there was any openings. I didn't want to Is give up so easy, but the more I waited, the more he would heal. So, against all odds, I decided to test the waters once again. With two of them, this fight could have maybe been possible, but then a third one entered the arena. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, we don't win this. We do not win this. Let's get out of here. Just like that, the fight was once again over. If I was older, I may have continued that fight, but even if I killed one and wanted the body, I would have to fight all of them for it, and that would just not be possible. My hunger was now starting to drain real fast. The solo life was truly beating me down. I slowly dragged my tired body to a salt rock. This would feed me, but it would give me a debuff temporarily too. Luckily, however, there was water nearby, so the debuff wouldn't affect me too much. Things weren't entirely looking bad for me. However, I was feeling defeated. I had two attempts to take down my prey and both were stolen from me due to being outnumbered. I was contemplating giving up, but I figured I'd give it one more chance. Something here. While questing and searching around for some food, the light sounds of a small creature caught my interest. What is it? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna get ya. The chase was on. These what little the? things are hard to catch as they can take big leaps of tall cliffs and take little damage. However, if I caught one by surprise, I would have a good chance. They're gonna run out of spam, surely. In his panic, he had gone into the water. Not a smart choice. Oh, that's not a good idea. 
These little guys were nimble, but with their stamina draining, if I could just keep on their trail, they wouldn't be able to run for much longer. Come on, buddy. It was a very fun and long chase. This was the excitement I was looking for and just in time too, as my hunger was starting to catch up on me again. Got it. With one down, naturally I would have to fight the other to end this once and for all. Nice. Okay, we got both. Whew. Good hunt. <laughs> That was fun. Not long after that, I went for a drink and decided I would log out for the day and return the next morning. But unfortunately, I was greeted by a sad message. The stress test was over and with it, our journey. I hope you guys did enjoy this story. If you did, maybe check out another one. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.